Either one. Can you help me to learn about the chamari? So today's session is all about HMI. The question that we get all of the question if you have in your mind and if you're looking for something to display the values of your process parameters then you can go for HMI because HMI is going to give you an option to display all the parameters like temperature, flow, level, pressure that if you want to see them definitely you need to have an HMI for that home and machine interface or HMI give you facility to visualize and see all process parameters like temperature, level, pressure, current and voltages. These are all signals if you want to see them. PLC definitely control them but PLC is not able to give you visualization of the signals. This is our PLC. You can see we don't have something to see here, right? We cannot visualize the signals. We can connect to the laptop to program that and we can see, you know, online view the values in through the program. But does it mean like all the time you open up the laptop and connect and just make online and see the signals? Definitely we need user friendly environment where we can visualize all the signals. And here come something that we call it HMI, Home and Machine Interface. Here you can visualize all the information coming on from the field, temperature, level, pressure, flow, density, all the signals coming from the field, status of the devices, whether they are running or not, motor, currents, voltages, these kind of things are always easy to visualize when you talk about HMIs. So now, the next thing that is very, very important to understand that is how we can actually communicate between PLC and HMI. In next session, hopefully you're going to see that session coming up and then we will talk about how we can actually communicate between PLC and an HMI. Mm -hmm.